from someone who's farmed my entire life, what the missing piece that I see is the human capital. On one hand, we have an aging farmer population. On the other hand, you have the veterans returning home with record unemployment. I did one year in Iraq, 2003 to 2004, with the 4th Infantry Division, 122 Infantry, Bravo Company. Kind of your standard grunt. We all learned a little something about facing death. Now is actually a time to learn how to face life. I loved farming. I loved getting up early in the morning. I loved being hot and dirty in the middle of the day and going to bed tired at night. Young farmers are heroes today. What a wonderful transition for young men and women that risk their lives to and to come home and, and find that again here, a new, a new way to serve and a, a new place to be. Veterans need just a little bit of guidance. You know, just a little push in the right direction. You have to know exactly what all these different plants do. They, they, they want to take the world in their arms. Uh, they want to carry it on their shoulders. They want, to, they want to touch it and they want to create something. They want to do something real. Now we grow, Lily and I together, we, we grow over 35 different uh, kinds of vegetables. Chard, lettuce, onions, cilantro, carrots and cabbage, tomatoes, peppers. Soldiers will make great farmers. They put their life at risk. They suffer discomfort. Uh, broccoli, carrots, kale, dill, leeks. They've passed the character test. They'll make great farmers. And what greater mission than to come home and feed your country?